All right, it's Tuesday again, and again, a sleep is fucking missing in action. But it's all right, a sleep. I don't blame you. I mean, I'm sure you had something important to do. I know it's really hard to find that five to ten minutes to make a video. I mean, you only got a week to do it. But, I mean, I don't know. You might have been out running a half marathon or painting yourself a pretty little picture. But I don't really know because you're never around. But that's all right, man. It's okay. Not hating on you. Not at all. That one was right in your dick. But it's okay. I'm not mad at you. Just a little disappointed. So Greg was asking, what kind of good deeds have we done lately, right? All right, check it out. I was at work earlier tonight, and sometimes when it's late at night and people come in, the door opens up and maybe like a gigantic moth might fly in, you know what I'm saying? That's bad for business. So I can either fucking ah, give him a Kia blast and kill him, or I can be a nice guy, pick him up and like let him out the window, you know what I'm saying? So I decided I'm be a nice guy. He was pretty cool looking. He kind of looked like a, a butterfly of the night with all his gray and black colors, you know? So I go over there on the wall and I, I get him on my finger, you know? And he's on my finger. I open the door. I'm like, there you go, buddy. There you go, fly outside, go fly into a car windshield or something, you know what I'm saying? Do what you do. And I felt pretty good about myself. And then I'm walking around, and I see another moth, and I figure, hell's bells, I can do two good things in one night and then brag about it on YouTube. So that's what I go to do, right? I go there to that moth, and I'm like, hey, buddy, how's it going? Come on. And then right before he gets on my finger, he fucking whips around at me, and his eyes were as red as rubies. I think he had uh, the rabies, because I saw his mouth foam a little bit, and he flew right at my face, man. I think I saw a little mini switchblade. I was scared. So I fucking dive out of the way, and that son of a bitch just went off in the store. I don't even know where the fuck he is, but screw him, man. I did one good deed. I let a moth outside instead of putting the fucking, putting a stamp on him, you know what I'm saying? So that, that was my last good deed. I just did it like three hours ago. Okay. And Ted, you got some mad style going on there. I mean... I like it, not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. You got a little behind the scenes there with how you did your hair. That's a pretty sweet deal. I mean, I like it. And on your personal channel, you have that fucking little bow tie. Oh, that's classy shit, man. I mean, I don't even know, is it, what is it, was it 1947 or are you a Republican? I don't get it, but it looks good, man. Keep it up. Sexy. Okay, can't ask a question, because... Min said no dice. He's going to make like a topic of the week. I don't know what he's going to have us do, but I know he said I can't ask any questions or nothing. So I'm just going to answer the remaining ones. And that would be Dory. Fuck yeah, Dory. You kick some ass right there. I mean, want to talk about cars. That's my shit, baby. That's my shit right there. I love the wheels, man. Love them. And you were asking if you could have... Like a dream car, but you couldn't build it. You know, you can't be like taking it apart from here and apart from there and building a super beast car. Like, it had to be already made, you know, money is not an option type deal. What's it gonna be? Alright, I'm gonna tell you. The Zonda F. Yeah. I think that's, I'm pretty fucking sure that's what it's called. It's this goddamn Italian supercar, you know what I'm saying? Like, whenever you think supercars, you think Italy, right? Like Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, stuff like that, you know? Well, Zonda, they've been around since about 2000, 2002-ish, and they've just been a motherfucking thorn in the side of Lamborghini and Ferrari. They make these beautiful cars look sort of like rocket shit, man. They're just, oh, they're beautiful. And this car is just sexy to the max. It's got a fucking V12 
zero to sixty in what was it like four seconds? Zero to one hundred and twenty-five in under ten seconds, and its brakes are phenomenal. It can go from one hundred and twenty-five back down to zero in four and a half seconds. Because I mean, you can have a badass car with all the horsepower in the world, but if you ain't got good brakes, you're more or less fucked. But the Zonda is just sexy. Balls to the walls, fucking sexy. And what color? Now, it comes in carbon fiber. Everyone knows carbon fiber is extremely lightweight, and it's just incredibly durable. Well, this is actually done with a, a naked carbon fiber, which means there's no kind of paint or anything over it. You can see the natural fibers of the carbon fiber. And it's pretty good looking, but personally, I would paint it, and I'd go with like a sexy-ass baby blue with black rims because I just think that's a really good combination so I'd do that should be a link in the side to what the car looks like it's just beautiful I mean I'm really a car guy man I like it I can fix the shit out of cars I can make brake lines bleed brake lines change brakes tires u-joints transmissions just exhaust work Fixing motorcycles, you know, all that shit's good. I like busting my knuckles on stuff sometimes. There's nothing wrong with it. It's good. It's handy. You know, if your car breaks down, you need to know how to fix it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's what I'm saying. And I think that's it. That's like all I gotta say, right? Greg was good deeds. Ted was just like, whatever, it's me, I'm Ted. Dory want to know about cars. Min said we couldn't ask any questions. Sleep wasn't there. And I'm the sixth guy. There you go. Yeah, that's it, man. Let's see what this fucking topic of the week's going to be. I'm excited. How about you guys? All right, that's it. Love it.